I am here with uh, Paul Kameda, uh, who holds the record for the tallest uh, nephrologist in North America, or is it just, just Canada? About. Maybe just, just Canada. We're, maybe. we're going for the global title, though. Okay, we're going for the globe. Okay. So, um, uh, he is actually the Chief Medical Officer here at Quanta. Please introduce yourself, man. So, I'm Dr. Paul Kameda. I'm the tallest nephrologist in Canada, and I'm Chief Medical Officer of Quanta Dialysis Technologies. Awesome. So, tell us about the company. So, the Quanta yeah, machine, so or is the name of the company? Quanta Dialysis System is the, is the machine you see here. So, we make the machine, and we can, we're can we sort of agnostic to water source. Okay. Uh, we can use any RO quality water. So, you see here pre-filtration and a portable RO. We can also plug into a ring main system. Uh, we make the machine, and we make two consumables that go with the machine. Uh, one mixes dialysate, which is why the machine's so small, and one just a standard blood tube uh, set that cool. uh, hooks up to the dialyzer. And where are you guys based out of? So we, our origin story is UK. So okay. we from the Midlands in the UK, uh, British engineered, okay. and we're now based out of Boston uh, okay. for a US. We're only commercially active in the US currently. Okay, yeah. super cool. And what's the goals and mission mission of your company really? So the mission of the company is basically democratizing dialysis, so any patient, any setting, any time. That's right. Awesome. So the okay. machine origin story is actually user led. So we're designed with patients for patients in Europe. Okay. Uh, we're CE marked for home. Uh, at one oh, you're CE marked for home already. Yeah. Awesome. In, in Europe. Okay. Uh, and we uh, actually had 120 home hemo patients in the UK. We're now focused exclusively on the US market. Okay. Uh, in the US, we're approved for acute, intermittent hemodialysis, SLED, and CVVHD. That's awesome. We're in front of the FDA now. For home clearance, which we're waiting to hear. So it's almost like an all enterprise solution. Exactly. That's what it's exactly. That's what it's based yeah. for. Yeah. Cool. Can you mind walking through the interface real yeah. quick? Yeah. This is just your, our main dialysis screen here where it's standard stuff, uh, pressures, um, dialysate flow. So again, at the touch of a button, we can change dialysate flow 50 mils per minute for uh, CRRT. Okay. We go up to right up to 500 mils per minute with the touch of a button. So, cool thing is in the ICU, you got a sick patient come in hyperkalemia, overdoses, you dialyze them at 500 mils per minute, touch your button, you're down to 50, and you can CRRT on the fly. Oh, wow. That, so, this changes the blood flow just like exactly. that? Exactly. And like you that. can also just drop down menu for acid changes. So just new acid jug goes in, touch of a button, and we can change acid jug on the fly as well. That's super cool. So super man. Cool. And then uh, the RO is built in, is that right? Uh, no, it's separate. So separate, this, this sorry, machine yeah. is separate. So this is, again, our one of our single station ROs okay. um, with pre-filtration and everything in, so we can use that in any setting. Um, just with any drain, basically tap the drain solution, or in a dialysis unit, if you have a ring main RO, you can plug right into the ring main RO and just use the top part. So you can yeah. buy the components separately if you exactly. need them, if you have yeah. the water room set up. Which fine. is super cool as well for servicing. So yeah. we just hot swap, if anything breaks in the machine, hot swap the device, get a new one into the, the center right away. We don't fix a lot of it on site, just it's just easier for, for that purpose. Other cool thing about the device is it's completely connected to the cloud. So we have 47 sensors in the machine. We wow. can see just about every parameter on the machine. We can troubleshoot. If you call 1-800 number, you can say if it's a sensor failure or if it's like uh, user error, et cetera, how long it took to set the machine up, even the temperature of the water going to the machine, we can monitor all that in the cloud anytime. Super cool. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Paul. I really Thanks appreciate it. Thank you, man. Take care. Take care.